Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Hope everybody's doing well out there today. Uh, today we're gonna take a look at another file sharing application uh, that's kind of along the same lines as say like C file, uh, not so much file cloud or next cloud, uh, but, but just kind of a, a one way sharing kind of situation here. And what we're gonna take a look at today is called Pwn Drop. Uh, so I actually found this when I was looking through uh, some Linux server stuff yesterday on hub.docker.com. And uh, so I was just kind of looking through here. And if we take a look, uh, here we can see that it's a self-deployable file hosting service for Red Teamers. I'll have a link to uh, more information about what Red Teamers are, as well as a link to this website. So you can check that out uh, if you want to do that. Um, but it allows you to easily upload and share payloads over HTTP and web dev. Uh, we're actually going to set this up on a URL today, uh, like we've done in the past. We're going to use Nginx Proxy Manager. Uh, so I tell you what, let's just go ahead and jump into this. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and close the Pwn Drop website. Again, I'll have a link to that in the description down below. I'll also have a link to this Red Team article here on Wikipedia uh, down below. And uh, here we can take a look at the Docker Compose file from hub.docker.com. Again, this is a Linux server uh, setup that they've got here. <clears throat> and so basically all, we, all we've got to do is just copy this over into Portainer here. Let me, uh, let me grab something over here. So what we'll do is we'll go into stacks. Uh, we'll go ahead and create a new stack. We're just going to paste this in here. Uh, and then of course we want to give it a name. Uh, like that. So we'll go ahead and call it Pwn Drop. Uh, here we can see that the image is going to come from Linux server. The container name is Pwn Drop. Uh, the PUID and PGID, uh, those are specific to your account. So uh, what you'll want to do is get the, uh, the PUID and PGID for your setup. Uh, time zone is America. I'm in Denver. Uh, so you'll, of course, want to change that to wherever or whatever your locale is. <clears throat> The secret path, that's going to be the uh, how you're going to access the dashboard. <clears throat> uh, so you'll need to, you'll want to change that for security reasons. If people know that you're using Pwn Drop, you won't want to have Pwn Drop be your admin URL. You can change it here. Uh, also, you don't, if you're not sure what you want to do yet, you can change this in uh, the, the, the graphical user interface, the GUI. Uh, you can change that later if you'd like. <clears throat> Uh, below that, we've got a volume. Uh, this is where all of your files are going to get stored. Uh, this is already set up for my server, so we're good to go there. Below that, we've got port 8080 being used, and 8080 is a pretty common port, so I'm going to change that to 81. Oops, whoa. Uh, my numlock is not on. 8123, let's do that. And uh, then restart unless stopped. That's pretty standard stuff. So, uh, what we'll do uh, is we'll scroll down here to where it says deploy the stack and uh, then we'll just kind of hang out and wait for it to deploy. Um, obviously, it doesn't take very long at all. So let's uh, let's switch this and we'll go to uh, 50, scroll down here to Pwn Drop. And then uh, right here, uh, it looks like everything is working as we would expect it to. Uh, so that's good to go. Uh, no errors or anything like that. Now, normally, what we would do is we would just click right here. Uh, I'm going to make sure my volume's down for uh, copyright reasons. But if somebody just goes to your uh, Pwn Drop uh, default URL, uh, they're going to get rerouted to being Rick Roll. Uh, you can change that as well. Uh, so what we're going to do is close that. Uh, I'm actually going to copy this link. I'm going to drag it over there. I'm going to do this. I'm going to type in PWNDROP. And so here it wants us to enter a username and a password to create an account. This is probably actually exactly what I want it to be. But I'm going to go ahead and do that anyway. So we'll go ahead and say uh, create an account and then we'll go ahead and log in. And that's it. Like that's that's it. That's set up. Now, in order for this to work so that we can uh, make this accessible uh, to the Internet, what we're going to want to do is uh, go over, uh, we'll go ahead and close that. We'll go over to where our DNS is being managed. Uh, I'm going to create a new record. I'm gonna create a C name record. I'm gonna call this drop.dbtechyt.com. Uh, I'm gonna turn off my proxy for just a moment here. Again, we are gonna do this through Nginx Proxy Manager. And in order for this to work, we need to have DNS uh, proxy status or set to DNS only rather than proxied, at least for a moment. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and click on save. So now we can see that that's there. Next thing we want to do is come over to our Nginx proxy manager, click on add a host. Again, we're going to call this drop.dbtechyt.com. 
Uh, this is going to be on uh, 13, so 192.168.1.13. And I just put on one or eight, one, two, three. Again, we're gonna block common exploits. Uh, over here on the SSL, we're gonna go ahead and request a new one. We're gonna force SSL and HTTP2 support. And we're going to agree, but we're gonna to have to come back in here. Again, there's a little glitch in here. We're gonna to to turn these back on uh, once we click save and it reloads the screen. All right, so this <clears throat> uh, should be, that's the one right there. So what we wanna do, come back in here, click edit. Again, go to SSL, force SSL and HTTP2, click save. Now we're good to go there. So we can go to drop.db, oops, techyt.com slash P-W-N-D-R-O-P, just like that. Now we can go ahead and, oops, uh, that's wrong. And now we are logged in. We're on our secure domain here. Uh, so first things first, what we can do, <clears throat> we can click on upload and uh, let's just go ahead and grab all of those uh, and we'll click open. Uh, so now it's already uploaded all of that. Of course, uh, these are very small files, so it would happen very quickly. Um, <clears throat> but what you can do, if you'd like, is you can just copy that URL. Uh, then we can open that up in a new uh, window there. Click go, and there we go. Now again, if I just go to that URL, oops, because I'm logged in, uh, it's gonna do that. But let's uh, pop this open in a new tab, a new uh, incognito window here, like so. And again, it's gonna re reroute us to the brick rolled there. So there are some other things that you can do with this. Um, <clears throat> Uh, if you click the little icon right there, um, you can uh, basically uh, redirect this anywhere you'd like it to go, or you can offer an alternate upload here. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go over here to pictures. Oh, let's uh, let's do, uh, let's just do that background file just, just for the uh, giggles of it. And we'll say save. <clears throat> so here you can see, <clears throat> We've also got, now if we look at newsletter header, uh, we've also got this uh, bg.jpg here. So if I click that, copy the link, and again, we're gonna open this in a new uh, private window. Um, I'm gonna click that. Now it's it, up here at the top, it says newsletter header, um, but right here is that background image that we uploaded. So what I'll do is I'll actually turn this uh, incognito thing off. I'm gonna copy that again. I'm gonna come back over, I'm gonna open this in a new tab, and there we go. Now that's the same URL. If you notice as I'm toggling back and forth, that's the same URL there. So you can um, set things up to... <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to say here is, <clears throat> uh, with this system you can uh, have one person download one thing, press a button, and have, using the same URL, have somebody download something completely different. Um, so that's basically the gist of that. What we can do next uh, is we can uh, come up here to uh, our settings. This redirect URL, that's the Rickroll URL there. So you can uh, change this URL to redirect anywhere you'd like. It doesn't have to be YouTube. Literally, you can change that to whatever you'd like. If somebody tries to access your dashboard or, or tries to access your server without the dashboard URL, it'll just redirect them wherever you tell it to go. Right here, this is the secret path. This is uh, what they'll have to access in order to get to your dashboard. Again, you can change this to whatever you'd like it to be. And the cookie name, you can adjust that as you'd like. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can adjust that as you'd like. And that's basically it. Um, it's a cool little setup in order to share files quickly and easily. Um, I don't know, let me actually see here. Okay, so we don't actually get any kind of uh, logging or anything like that in here, but uh, this is a very, uh, very simple uh, Docker container you can use to share files in this manner. So I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, of course, I would really appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up, would help me out a bunch. Let me know that you're enjoying the content that I'm creating. Uh, again, all of this will be linked in the description down below. Um, if you're interested in checking that out, uh, it'll actually probably be in a blog post. So uh, while you're down there clicking on that link or any of the links that are down there, of course there is, uh, a coffee link uh, where you can do like a one-time tip if you're interested in that. There's a Patreon link down there as 
well. I actually just added a new level of, of patron membership where you'll get early access to my videos. Uh, that is, of course, if I get them recorded and uploaded in time for them to be early access. Uh, so there's a there's a $3 level for that. But anybody who's also in the five or $10 level will get access to that as well. Uh, also, just a quick little blip. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a full video on this later. Uh, I'm completely overhauling uh, my Discord server with some help. Uh, that's been uh, kind of thrown up in the air. We're redoing everything. So uh, if you want to get uh, access to the Discord server, I have a link to that in the description down below as well. But I think with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support, and I'll talk to you in the next video.